Well, here we are. It's kind of Honda City, if you will, around here. A Honda Fit and, yeah, a new Honda Honda Commercial Series lawnmower. Okay, this is an HRC Series. I don't seem for some reason to see uh, that on here or much mention of a HRC. I don't believe there's anything much of a difference here, but in the specificity here, this is an HRC 216 HDA. I don't know if that means heavy-duty commercial or whatever. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's time for a, for a different lawnmower. So here it is, and it's in its box, and we're undoing it here and seeing what's uh, what's what. And uh, you know, I was a little bit disappointed right out of the gate that you know, in the way that it's shipped, you know. And again, there's an expectation here. There ought to be for what almost eleven hundred bucks for a machine like this uh, that I didn't get a bottle of oil. So. Uh, they they come dry. There's nothing in the jug, and you have to put your own oil in there. And you know, I kind of sat on the ground, and you know, here's where the rope's gonna go. And I'm looking at the handle. Obviously, I needn't mention that you can put the handle in a various in various positions to suit your liking. And there's a couple of strut arms that cinch the deal up to make that Honda feel uh, what very rigid, for lack of a better word, in that very nature of a commercial expectation. Uh, here with this machine and it is a great machine but again little disappointed right out the gate that I didn't get any oil with the uh, with the machine amid all their warnings and there's one of them there um, I should have righted that it's upside down but anyway you get the idea so I'm sitting on the ground working on it and cinching everything up getting the handle going most commercial guys don't care about a handle that's going to fold in 20 different ways or what have you they like that rigid handle and they push it up on the truck go to the next job and so on and so on and so on I thought man I gotta rack this so we can see the dirty little secrets of what might lie underneath and what can I do to make it a better experience right out the gate uh, in that thought were bearings and the great one of the great appeals of this machine to me was that it does have bearings instead of steel collars on steel shafts now they're using bearings on the wheels and believe it or not I was just elated and here's what you get right out of the gate silky smooth uh, to later to learn that there not only are outer bearings there are inner bearings there are eight bearings on four wheels and yeah there's the shrouds and so on underneath and i'm going to go into that too and uh there's some heavy duty steel sides so when you're up against your work or some cement or what have you you won't narf the the deck all up and there's a nice bump around the front and the honda quality power plant for an engine that we've come to expect with a manual choke and i'll again go into that so i decided what it's kind of a bonding thing here. Let's get my 14 millimeter out my pistol. Let's pop these wheels off. And what I like to do, I'm good buds with my dentist. I said that 15 years ago, didn't I? Is get a tool and I want to see what's going on with those bearings. And a lot of people don't know this, but there's a little cover on that race. And if you gently pry it off, you can, you can see to the business or what's going on in there. There it is and it's off. And while there is some grease in there a little bit, there isn't enough for my liking. I like a synthetic oil, and I like Lucas Red and Tacky, and I just embellish on all eight bearings here, and we'll get into the back in a second, uh, with that grease and get those covers rolled back down there, and when they set, they'll you'll feel them kind of, whoop, they're in, gone, gone. You'll never get them off unless you use a, you use a tool. And be, don't get overzealous here. Be very gentle if you want to if you want to check this. But I need good longevity. I need a lot of service. And that's why I like to do this. And sure enough, in most instances, it is worth my while. It just takes a second. What do you mean? Well, I mean, how hard is that? Get a pistol out with a with a socket on it and pop a wheel, you know, and, and do what you know you need to do. Some of you commercial guys, you know, if you paid as much attention to your to your bearings and your other things as you did to your blades, that would nearly make a difference. And Hondas are a great example. They don't mulch anything, and this is really a mulcher to me, and it comes with a bag, and it's got a plate and all that. But Hondas aren't mulchers. They turn grass into fine particulate. I haven't quite figured out the name for it yet. But it just literally powder, grass powder, like green chlorophyll powder. And if you treat them right, and if you use them right, what do you mean? Well, don't try to mulch grass that's a foot high. Don't mulch wet grass. And for God's sake, if you get into a situation like that, take quarter or three-eighths or half rows and, and let the machine kind of talk back to you, and he'll tell you what he wants and, and use it to its advantage. 
So here we are, you know, off that thought, into the business end, if you will, in the back. And now we're looking at the cogs and the, and the different uh, components of the self-propulsion, which is a shaft-driven hydrostatic apparatus on this particular machine's example. And a little bit of a lack, you know, and then look, at this is a bit anal. It's going a little overboard here, to be honest, isn't it? But these are in kind of a sealed sphere. And I did find, yeah, there it is, a cog that didn't get any grease at all. It's kind of dry. So in that thought, it was worth my while uh, to get in there and embellish that thing in a filthy throff of great grease. And yeah, even down inside, I got that cover off simple and got that wheel bearing down there as well as the one on the other side. Now we're to wheel number two, and we keep going and going. And, and yeah, get some value for my money here. And in that, what, five-minute endeavor, that's a great insurance marker. And, you know, Honda's had a saying with their mowers, or not Honda, I should say, lawn boys. And their slogan, if you will, back to Bewitched and Darren Stevens, was, as time goes by, you'll know why. I think Honda should have bought that that uh, that saying and maybe put it on their machines or something. I never really heard that after, but sometimes things in that thought, I guess, in the point of the remark, is that they stick. You know, like Eastern, the airline, the wings of men. That's what set young men's imaginations on fire and sent them to the hobby shop when I was growing up to buy models of planes of big L-1011s or DC-10s. <laughs> so here we are with a DC-10 of lawnmowers. So yeah, you pay a hefty price. There is an expectation, and it's a tall expectation. And all in all, as I critique things here, all right, the oil wasn't the finest moment, but it, uh, it'll meet or exceed that expectation. So, you know, again, this is just me, but you're talking to a guy that can't go into a restaurant. When I hear a door singing on a sill, I want to see the manager. And my wife will roll her eyes, but listen, I mean, when they see or they understand, my God, man. Can I help you? Well, yeah. Listen to this. Look at these hinges. Look at these pins popping. What the hell is the matter with you? Get me some oil. I mean, I can't even rest here until it's, you know, I'm sorry. It's part of the compulsion. My wife calls it excessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> and don't laugh. A couple times it scared me up a free meal or two saying that shit. And, and, and look, I mean, it's just the right thing to do. Do you want to spend a couple hundred bucks and have them re-weld your plates on these doors? Oil them, for God's sake. Anyway, there's the thinking here. <laughs> All right, so here's my sprayer, and I'm going to spray a, a, uh, a material uh, uh, on the uh, underneath of this machine with this uh, lanolin-based undercoating called, called fluid film. And Joe will know about this. Joe, my good friend here on YouTube. And yeah, I get it by the five-gallon pail. Expensive shit, a couple hundred bucks a pail. With 180 pounds of pressure in the line, and it's going to weep off that bottle there, and I put a brake line bending tool on it as not to foil that plastic nozzle. And just put that, whoop, there he is. <laughs> Uh, put the galoshes on there, so to speak, and shoot it right up his rear end and get every little bit of that underneath there embellished in that like waxed paper when it sort of sets up. Because all around enshrined in this thing, around that capsule, if you will, in that mulching environment, is a kind of a dainty tin plate. See it? And can't you see that in a few years where that's going to rust and corrode amid all the fasteners, literally growing hair on it? And, you know, part of the appeal here is, I don't know whether this deck, I don't think it's magnesium. It might be cast aluminum or something. I know I don't think it's cast iron. But is the, uh, is the sealed cast deck, and it's not plastic, in other words. Well, I mean, you hit a rock, and I don't know how well that tin's going to stand up. And it, too, is probably rather vulnerable to the acids, if you will, of the fertilizers in, the, in some grass and so on, some grasses. And I just, again, I'm looking out for that longevity factor. I need that advantage. And it's one I'll take here in a quick minute and spend five minutes and put a good throff of that stuff right up his ass, you know, and get everything, get everything going back there. And here we are with the accustomed things that we see in a, in a better quality engine, don't we, with a Honda, with the drain. And there would be the fuel shut off to make things easy. And again, we're going to get to that, uh, to that choke, and it's a manual choke. You'll see that arm looking right at us, right on the other side of that fuel line. So as we articulate that throttle up top side, we're going to not only raise and lower that throttle on this motor that hasn't been run yet, it hasn't even got any oil down his gullet, 
but more importantly, I'm ready to walk right out when I went to the Honda dealer. And they said, I know it, I know it, but that automatic shit is gone. You don't have to worry about it. And it works now. This is mechanical. You better be right because I'm out of here if it isn't. I've had a, I had a belly full of that. I mean, I wrote them and, you know, I mean, I didn't even get a, re you know, look at There's nothing you can do. And I, I don't know. I'll find an old school carburetor for it. I'm too disinterested now to really get into it, you know, at a later stage of life. So I just give it a snort and that's the way I start it. But anyway, Talking the point about being, my this old one does here. not have that and it will always start for you. So, yeah, there's the, there's the jug. We'll get some oil in there. And yeah, look at even these <laughs> back wheels on a cogged, ratcheted uh, plane here, so to speak, when you spin them, and we're going to look at the hydrostatic uh, part of the business in here in a minute, or get a thumbs up, and they're all embellished in that nice grease. So here would be that plate that you'd, uh, that blocky plate that you'd mulch with, and need I tell you, you know, of course, you can put a bag on here if you so choose, but here's that tin shield again, and uh, we want to get in behind him, and I did with that sprayer. Uh, and a lot of the hardware, and now look at here we are back to that choke. And I'm trying to hold the phone here, so to speak, and, and move that handle up top side. But yeah, we're at fast, and when you go fast up the choke, look at that choke lever. That's the one got me right there. That's it. That's the first thing you've said. That's fine. <laughs> that gets a thumbs up, too. That's what I'm after, and I do not want that junk automatic choke. That's terrible. So here we are, and we're going to get in now to, if you will, the business end of Pascali's Law, a mid-hydrostatic shaft drive here, synonymous with quality. And that's the Honda name, but we're not using a belt here anymore, so things are evolving. That's a good thing. And uh, this is a little plastic door to get to that business, if you will. And what we're going to see here is that assembly, hopefully, that you'll never have a problem with. But the point being is there's a side fill plug, there's a top fill plug, and you can check your level through various ways. You'll want to consult your owner's manual, but in a very basic sense of things, just look at our fluid environment, and there's a dipstick on the end of this plug, just like what I, you know, I mean in a crankcase type of an example, would, is it just a good thing instead of a sealed sphere that you know you don't service and how many examples have we seen well there's nothing to service it's lifetime you never have to mess with it yeah right there's the first part I don't like there is no nothing and I want in there you know and I will find a way to get in there so yeah that's cast uh, I should suppose cast aluminum but look at that th film and that's going to dry on there that'll be wonderful and okay then we're into aesthetics I'm sure you've seen all this before this isn't anything new with this machine they say it's the new thing and I think, what, I read somewhere, and I might even have it on here, that this machine was assembled in, in 2016. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. By Mr. Uh, Rodney Castle. What's his name? I can't see it here on my, on my quick edit here. Uh, what? And it's, what, the fifth month in 2020. So there's nothing new here. It's already four years old. And they had to order it, and, you know, they're, they're, you can't get these, as I understand it, at a big box store. So we will see. We will put it to the task. All in all, I like the build. I like the rigidity. Now that the bearings and everybody are happy and yummy berry gooingness, <laughs> if there is such a thing, we will get the answers to those questions. And I'll do a, maybe a couple years from now another, uh, another review of the nuts and bolts of the thing, so to speak. But I don't have to show you, do I, how to set height. Do you care? And there's an air filter, and you'll want to check it, won't you? And the gas cap, and even this, the uh, sponge liner is gone inside lining the fuel tank. So they've listened. Good quality build, one I think I'll like. I think it's going to be a good fit. And I brought it home in a fit, so it should be a good fit, right? And uh, Honda is always usually, generally, most times in most examples, unless you have that automatic choke, a good fit. So we will see. But so far, yeah, you get a thumbs up. I'm liking it. All right, there it is.